to you all and welcome to another video my name is Nigel also known as a Lake Erie vlogger and today we are going to be hitting Lake Erie let me just move this camera out the way because I think the sun is right on the lens let's go that side so uh yeah uh, we're heading on to Lake Erie pretty much going to be launching from my home location uh because this weekend being a long weekend in August it is the uh, Port Coburn uh canal days which is a celebration of its heritage, uh, which is basically they just close off all the roads around the, uh, the harbour area, the, the, the dock, uh, the canal side, close the bridge. They put a load of vendors down there, some buskers and a few other things, some live entertainment. And uh, it's a three day festival, basically. So instead of driving down there, I could have just driven straight down this road. And I thought, no, we'll take the sea dew instead. So instead of going straight across, we're just going to get some gas from the gas station and just ride into Crystal Beach, grab a coffee, launch on there and make our way over to uh, Port Coburn from there, more up, have a walk around so we can see and then uh, come back. tank but you just never know if something happens or you might end up going somewhere else so I like to always go out on an adventure with a full tank and uh, no one if anything happens I can go on a little bit further uh, and pack it there on the water we're gonna make our way over to Port Coburn very soon and uh, the water's quite nice actually a little murky because uh, it has been a little uh, choppy the last couple of days so uh, we're gonna head out that way past Point Abino and uh, around past Shirkston and along like that so but for the time being I'm gonna take my time drink my coffee and then we'll head out that way I think it's gonna be an absolute lovely day today before the rain comes this evening it's meant to rain all day holiday Monday so I've got to make the most of it today I'll have a quick look at Crystal Beach because everything's going to be packed today. It is a nice day down here. Oh my god, I can see it now. It is packed. I'll show you in a minute. But that beach is absolutely packed. It's packed. So that beach just be on there by the parking lot. That is part of town of Ford area, but it's a small little sliver. It's tiny. And basically, people come down here if they don't want to pay to go to Crystal Beach, which Pell means right now is packed. But Crystal Beach has a beautiful sandy area. It's got lifeguards. It's a safe area. This is rock. This is all rock, as you can see from here. So you can't really play in it. You've got to slowly walk out and make your way around. But you can't come all the way out here and stand up to your waist. But you're in a dangerous spot. But Crystal Beach, absolutely packed. So we're going to head out over there, have a quick look. Then we'll make our way over to uh, Port Coburn.
I come back, I'll just race right across the lake. So we'll take the long way around getting there. Uh, see these nice sandy beaches, uh, the sand dunes, a bit of Shirkston, the shipwreck, uh, and stuff like that. So let's go and check it all out. It's a nice clear patch with uh, no ripples and you'll really see it. Look how clean this water is. Bit of a ripple but... It's one of the reasons why Crystal Beach gets its name, Crystal Clear Waters. It's like the Caribbean of the North, they call it. Well, we're just on the other side now of Crystal Beach, uh, Point Abino, uh, which leads over into uh, Shirkston. Now, oh, Shirkston's gonna be a zoo. You gotta be careful if you ever come down this way. Um, don't really wanna give Shirkston a bad name, but a lot of accidents have happened down here because they're just a bit, some of the people out in the water are just a bit stupid with no brains, really. Uh, but a lot of uh, jet ski, personal watercraft collisions, a lot of speedboats have kind of like got lost out here as well. Uh, the beach is packed, alcohol's flowing, and basically uh, no one gives a damn, so you've really got to be really careful if you're in this area. I usually try and stay away from it in the summer, uh, but we'll go by, have a little look, uh, but we'll just take our time. Uh, there's already quite a few people out on the water, so I don't want to get in their way. Uh, there's a public beach which belongs to uh, the town of Port Coburn, uh, Pleasant Beach is called, which is this bit right here. And then right next to it, Shirkston. And look how busy it is, it's packed. There's a lot of tents, a lot of golf carts, a lot of alcohol, and most likely a lot of peeing and pooing in this lake. In this lake. <laughs> and don't deny it, folks, they are. Because I see no washrooms along there, none whatsoever. I love the sand dune right over there, though. That's cool. All right, let's maneuver on and head out to Port Coburn because the clouds are building. I want to get there before it rains and try and head back. And I'm sure when the uh, weather changes, there's going to be a lot of fun on this lake. I want to show you something. I just come from all the way over there, and I came out a bit further away from land for a reason. Because I knew, as you get close to Nickel Point in Port Coburn, six and a half foot of water there. That's it. All of a sudden, it goes from 25 feet to six feet very, very quickly. And so, if you're not familiar with these waters or you don't have a depth finder, if you're not sure where the rock is, there's a good chance if you've got a boat, you're going to take your prop off. Uh, but anyway, just over there is Nickel Beach, a very popular beach with the, the local people around here. Try and get closer, but right now we're in very shallow water. This is new. Didn't see that here. So anyway, this is Nickel Beach, part of Port Coburn. And just over there is the canal, which is where we're going to next. But I'll make my way to the boat ramp first, Sugarloaf uh, Marina, because that's where the main stage is. Then we'll ride up the canal and check out Canal Days uh, properly from there. So uh, let's head into Port Coburn. This is Port Coburn Marina. I was gonna go round, but I remember the weeds get a bit tall here. 
Uh, but anyway, in the background is where the tents are, and that's like the main stage. And I believe last night Sam Roberts' band played here as the uh, main act. Oh, it stinks. But anyway, something just caught my eye on the canal, and it's something I've been wanting to see for a very long time. And I missed it last year, and I missed it several times already this year. And I knew it was coming in, and it's still here. It's the Viking Oct uh, Oh, what's it called? Octanius? Octanius. Uh, the Viking cruise ship, uh, which is very luxurious. Uh, he spends his summer um, riding up and down the Great Lakes, uh, doing tours, uh, cruises, very expensive. And in the winter months, our winter months, he's down in South, he's in the Antarctica, uh, way down there doing uh, tours down there. So it's a very luxurious vessel. And I'm gonna go and ride up to it now, and maybe I'll try and get the drone out as well, and get some nice shots of it. And coming around into view right now, Octanius. She's huge! This is such a luxurious vessel. I've seen a video on this, the interior and everything. And when, uh, when it did its cruise down to uh, South America, fascinating boat, amazing. Yeah, but I, I believe they have sea dudes, uh, jet skis in here as well, rib, uh, ribby boats, so they can launch onto the ice packs down in Antarctica and stuff like that. So those are your cabins. Not a cheap vessel though to sail on, but uh, very luxurious. Probably the most, it probably is the most luxurious vessel you'll see on the Great Lakes. <laughs> oh my, again, a drone shop shortly if I can get a nice place to just pull over. I'm just nervous about losing a drone, I've already lost one this year. So I believe this came in last night. I saw it on the map making its way through the canal. So this is the rear of it, registered in Bergen, Norway. Anyway, this is Canal Days by the way, this is Port Coburn, look. We'll more up shortly, have a walk around uh, before the weather gets crappy. Uh, there's a big uh, Empire Sandy is here, one of the tall ships. Uh, she'll be taking people out for a tour um, out onto Lake Erie very, very shortly. She's already got a lot of people on, so it's only a matter of time before she leaves. This, I believe, is the oldest operating fire boat in the world, someone said to me. Uh, based in Buffalo, so we've seen this in one of my videos before. We've ridden past it. But uh, the oldest operating fire boat uh, in the world, the Edward M. Cotter. We'll pull up to that very, actually we'll go to that first and make our way up to Empire Sandy. Let's have a little look. It was originally named the William S. Grattan and it was built in 1900 by Crescent Shipyard of Elizabeth Port, New Jersey. Uh, but due to his age, it was rebuilt back in 1953 and then was renamed. It was renamed the following year as Edward M. Cotter. Its namesake, Edward Cotter, was a Buffalo firefighter and leader of the local firefighters union who had recently died. It's one of the things I really love about being on a CD. You get to be a lot closer uh, and see vessels like this from a different angle that people can't really see because they're seeing stuff from shore and I get to go on this side of it and see everything clearly from this side. This is a nice boat. I do like a tall ship. Everyone waving. Hi everyone. <laughs> so you got something like this, which is an old toll ship, right next to the most recent in the uh, Viking fleet, Octanius. 
at this angle, she looks spectacular. I still have no idea why I'm calling it Octanus when it's actually called Octantis. Octantis. Why well, can't I pronounce that? All right, good timing. The tall ship has just departed. So we have to watch it turn around and make its way out. Coburn's Canal Day, so uh, let's go more up, have a little walk around, and uh, have a bite to eat, get a drink, and so on. But I can't believe I'm right next to these Viking ships. This is like freaking phenomenal, man. <laughs> Love it. Viking. That's the size of cruise ship I want to go on. I can't go on those big uh, things you see going around the Caribbean where it's like, 18,000 feet, whatever it is, that will do me, something that size. Here's some facts for you on the Viking cruise ships. Uh, this is an expedition ship and there's two of them. They have the uh, Viking Octantis and the Viking Polaris, which are both currently uh, sailing around the Great Lakes. The vessel in front of you is the Viking Octantis. It was built in 2021 and put into service in 2022. It holds 378 guests, a crew of 256. It has a length of 665 feet and a beam of 77 feet. Class, well, it's a Polar Class 6. And if you fancy taking a cruise on this particular ship, a uh, 15 day cruise of the Great Lakes from Toronto to Duluth will cost you around $15,595. But you only need a twenty-five dollar deposit. All right, just moored up for a few minutes while we have a walk around Port Coburn. Docked it there. Now I'll tell you a little truth, a little, a little thing I did. I was here yesterday, actually. I drove here yesterday to have a look, and it was absolutely packed at this time yesterday. And today it's a lot quieter. I don't know why, but yesterday it was absolutely packed. And just when I looked at those drone shots, I realized it's really, really quiet. But we'll still have a look so we can find. So, so it's kind of a nosy into this place. Definitely not as busy as it was yesterday down here, but still quite busy. Yeah, I was right what I said earlier on the uh, Sea Doo, it is the oldest in service fireboat. So I was right, it says so right there. So yeah, you usually see it spaced out in Buffalo and usually where you sit, Buffalo River. Alright, so Canal Day started back in 1979 uh, when it was the 150th anniversary of the well opening of the uh, third well in Canal, which is one which is in use right now. So every year since then, except for Covid, uh, they've had Canal Days, which is where all these vendors show up and they close the streets and uh, they celebrate its maritime heritage. And I also have a bit of a connection to this place, as I found out uh, two years ago, my stepfather um, came through here back in the, I guess it would have been late 60s, early 70s, and uh, had a, uh, a near-death accident where he had to be uh, transported to Montreal after having an accident here at Port Coburn whilst on a ship and had to be taken to Montreal for a while. So, uh, yeah, a bit of my family's been through here back in the day. Oh, yeah. Smells good, but I had pork yesterday. 
uh, pulled pork from a place up there, which was really good. There's a lineup for beer. I had no lineup yesterday. because I got sea dew shoes on so I can't stay still in one spot for too long otherwise people will be like what's that smell so anyway head back to the sea dew finish my coffee down there then we'll have a little ride around I just found out the Viking uh, Octanus uh, uh, is going out about 6 p.m. but I don't think I'll be around for that I see a few people heading back to the cruise ship right now so anyway I'm gonna head back to my own cruise ship uh, the Eric Cantona the sea dew So there you have it. That was a quick uh, look around uh, Canal Days here in Port Coburn uh, for the August long weekend. With a bonus, I don't know why I kept saying Viking Octanius. Octan Octantis? 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 Octanius. Virgin, Viking Octantis. O o Octantis? Octanius. Octan I don't know. Octantis. I was having a coffee just thinking, why did I call it Octanius? Maybe I heard someone else say it. But anyway, uh, that was a bonus being here. So we're gonna mosey on. It's getting dark because those clouds are getting really dark around here. So I need to make my way back to uh, Crystal Beach before things uh, deteriorate. And I get stuck in it. So it's got a little cooler now. So make our way to uh, Port um, bleh, Tongue Tide. Make ourselves back to Crystal Beach. And uh, take it from there. If you remember, I was here beginning of the season. Uh, the ship uh, scrapping area was a lot busier then. And I believe Manistee was still in one piece. But there isn't much left of Manistee anymore. She's just a little fraction of what she used to be. Pretty much a sad sight, really. That's uh, virtually gone. As I'm leaving Port Coburn, Empire Sandy is returning from a little mini excursion in, uh, around uh, Lake Erie. Let's go and check her out one more time. That is it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed the trip over to Port Coburn for Canal Days and checking out uh, uh, Viking uh, Octantist. <laughs> Still can't get it right. Anyway, anyway, I got back safely. All's good. I'll be back very soon uh, for another video. Oh, by the guy, by the way, the guy in the red shorts there, absolute doofus. If anyone's on my Twitter account or Facebook, you would have seen what I meant by that. Very violent man.